Hello and welcome back to the second episode of um, Programming on Unreal Engine. On a previous video we mentioned that um, we are going to make characters different than each other and in order to do that we are going to go for object oriented approaches. So before I start I will tell you um, what object oriented approach or object oriented programming is. Object oriented programming is basically um, relating things to real life. Uh, you will ask. So let's just give an example. Um, when you think of two things, on this case I will take um, a bird and a tiger. So they are both animals, both living things, um, both has um, blood veins and the heart etc. But these are the things in common, but they, what they don't have in common is they have wings and, uh, sorry, uh, the bird has wings, but the tiger does not. So when we uh, apply this to programming, what you need to focus on is um, if you are to make seven different characters over and over, you just need to um, do, should not repeat yourself. If one can run, um, the other, if all of them can run, you just should not um, just program how do they walk separately. You can just make um, a base class um, that gives them the um, common properties they have and um, derive other classes based on that one in order to get um, what you want. So. Um, in order to do that, I use my tutorial one character that is the default one and by right clicking, pressing new C++ class, saying character, next, and naming it gluttony character, I just created another C++ character. Now while it has been compiled. I should also say that um, I already made a great character um, in the break I was using. So I will just go for that one and actually edit the great character. So um, when we check tutorial one character, it is derived on okay. Um, it is derived on a character which is actually the base class. So the default character we have we had actually it wasn't the um, base class but for this one um, we will do all the changes in a tutorial one character if we want those things to be in common with them so when we go back and when I create this as you can see on gluttony character it is also uh, is derived from a character but on great I changed it to a tutorial one character and replaced um, this game framework character dot h to tutorial one character so that um, the header file will just point in it. So um, now just by doing this, a great character is capable of doing everything that a tutorial one character does. Now we get to pick between two things. Um, this new character can do things completely differently or it can um, do those things but do some other things on top. Uh, it's getting complicated I know but let's just think of an example. Okay, all, let's just assume that all animals can walk. Snakes cannot walk but just forget about it. Um, all animals can walk, but when they are walking, maybe some of them can be swimming. So we just need to um, tell it that this character, while walking, can swim at the same time too, or smoke at the same time too. You can just um, expand the um, example I'm using. So um, let's just see what our tutorial one character does. Let's just use the header file because it's more clean that way. It can move forward, it can move right, um, it has a turn rate, it has a lookup rate. Um, 
and all those things but something it can do from that comes from a character is that this one can tick so let's go for overriding part and I want this to be blueprint cold as I stated on the previous video if we want to do that we should go for view property so I'm go going for view property and just doing it the same as others visible anywhere blueprint callable I'm not making this one blueprint read only or write because this will be a function actually and category I will leave that part blank and when I'm over here I will say virtual um, float I, I'm not sure if it was float void sorry virtual void tick it is just the same just the same as how it's defined on um, the normal character it will get a float in it which is named delta value and I will stay override so when I do this I'm basically telling my character that um, your base character can tick I want you to tick too but I want you to do something different while ticking so I go back and start defining my tick so I say void a tutorial character tick float uh, delta seconds I don't know if I said it that way over there I said delta value I will change it to delta seconds because it's how it's used as we can see it over here it's delta seconds and let's just to um, observe some stuff I want to log some um, values I will just copy it over here go for UE log um, not over here maybe here yeah UE log so I go back and say UE log and I just don't want it to say something I'll say I'm ticking I'm removing this too and it gives me a warning it says name followed by double dot must be a class or namespace it's because I copied it now it works now I saved it and I'm now going back over here press compile and in the meanwhile I will put output log on Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Unrecognized type virtual. Okay. Let's go back and see what wrong did we do. Uh, virtual void tick. Virtual void tick. What's wrong? Maybe it's angry because it's new property. I don't know. Let's just try again. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to remove um, that part. We can just um, handle that part easily. Okay. It doesn't work. I will try to... I will comment it over here. So it will just have virtual void tick without your property. Let's try to compile it back again. Or maybe I did something else wrong but I'm not sure to float delta seconds or take float delta seconds I don't know okay compile complete you cannot see it when I press play it says uh, 
over here, I'm ticking. It just spams I'm ticking because tick function is called on every, I don't know, some something millisecond. So let's just see the difference between um, the implementation we do, um, which is overriding things. So now normally the tick function does not print something like that, but when we override it, it started to say I'm ticking. So now the great character is something that is derived from tutorial one character. So um, I'm coming over here. If I keep it like this, when it says super tick delta time, and super over here means that the class that this class is derived from. So now, this way, um, this character takes for tutorial one character two, but I want it to log something else. So say, I'm ticking for three. I save this, go back, and press compile. And now um, there is one significant problem over here, and it is we don't have a great playable character right now. So we need to um, make a blueprint class for um, greed. Still compiling right after it is done. Yeah, it is done. <clears throat> now, right click on it and press create blueprint class based on um, greed. And I will just name this for on default my greed character. Created it and now I need to give it some skeleton and stuff. But I think it's not necessary for now. I will just save it, leave it place a migrate character and um, go for level blueprint and say event begin play so when um, the game starts um, possess and untick this pawn possess so this means um, I want to get the control of something and um, in pawn, I will need to get the reference. Uh, target is get player controller and just minimize this and place my greet character over here so that we get it and connect the nodes, compile and just press play. Now we are uh, controlling a grid character. Uh, since it doesn't have a body, we just do not see anything. And when we go back, we are actually seeing that um, it is ticking for grid now, but it also ticks for the default one. So let's go back and see what happens if I just remove this super tick part. I save it. Um, I go back and compile it. I also have one minute. I hope we can just catch it. Because it will be a real, real waste if it doesn't fit in the video. Okay, pressing play. So now, if, if you check the difference, it now ticks for the base character and for greed 2, but on the previous one, it was ticking two times for um, the base character and only one time for greed. So um, we just made an introduction to um, inheritance in Unreal Engine. On the next video, we will just follow up from this part and actually make the character do some stuff. So, um, see you on the next video.